Welcome everyone. Today we are going to reflect on the 21st uh, sun, Sunday in ordinary time. A very, very crucial and very, very important message for us, especially Catholics. Uh, please uh, keep with me and then uh, do, not, uh, do not go away because this is something, something very essential for all, all of you, all of us, all of us. We need to know this. If this is very very important the first reading we are going to he we hear Isaiah chapter 22 verses uh, 19 to 23 how Eliakim was given so uh, the son of Hilkiah was given the power of a prime ministership to look after uh, he was supposed to take care of everything so god is no more happy with the people of judah and so he or the people of the the chosen people so to say so actually then he gave this as a prophecy that this power will be given to jesus okay now just uh, listen to verse uh, verse uh, uh, 21 and I will clothe him with your robe and bind your shafts on him I will commit your authority authority to his hand he shall be a father to the inhabitants of Jerusalem and to the house of Judah I will place on his shoulder the key of the house of David now listen the most important part he shall open and no one shall shut he shall shut and no one shall open. This is the key. This is the thing. Eliakim was given the power either to shut or to open. With this in mind, let us reflect that yes, the power to lose and to bound is given to Christ. We all know that. But the gospel of the day, Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 to 20, Jesus is going to transfer this power to Peter. Wow, what a, what a great news for all of us Christians, and especially we Catholics. You know, the first part, as we know, is that who do people say I am? I'm not going to do so much because uh, some say that uh, Jeremiah, Eli Eliza, John the Baptist or Isaiah or one of the prophets because they believe in uh, what we call Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, Second Ezra chapter 2 verse 18 which says that uh, Isa Isaiah or Jeremiah or uh, what we call Eliza will come before the time of God or one of the prophets means they believe that Jesus is one of the prophets. Okay, let us... Uh, Stop with that. Uh, I want to reflect more on the second part. But who do you say I am? Peter stood up and said, Peter answered, You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. You are the Messiah, the Son of the Living God. You are the Emmanuel, promised in uh, Isaiah chapter 7, verse 4. You are the you are the one, the anointed one. You are the one who is to save you are the messiah okay now what did our lord answer this is not he bless blessed are you blessed are you jesus answered blessed are you simon john of son of jonah for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you this is not given by or this is coming not out of your knowledge. This is given by God. Why? Why only? Why it has to be given to Peter? And why not to other apostles? Dear friends, now let us go. And I tell you, you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. If you remember John 1, verse 42, the word of God uh, says that Jesus changed the name of Peter. 
His first name was not Peter. His first name was Simon. And so he changed it. From now on, you will be Cephas, which means Peter. And so he said, and I tell you, you are Peter. You are Cephas. You are Peter. You are Cephas. And on this rock, and on this rock, I will build my church. He is going to build the church on the foundation of Peter and the other apostles. But Peter as the first among equals. So, dear friends, you have to understand this. In fact, uh, as quite many of our separated brethren say that, says that Petrus means small rock. Yes, it can it can mean small rock, and then uh, Petra means real firm and fixed rock. So Jesus is telling that you are Petrus, you are a small rock and I'm going to build my, ch my church on myself because Jesus is the rock. Yes, as Catholic we believe that Jesus is the rock, Jesus is the shepherd, Jesus is the healer, Jesus is the savior. We believe Jesus is uh, the physician, Jesus is the hidden treasure, what we call so many. But one of the things that the key point is that Jesus shared everything to us, Christians. We become heirs of the kingdom. We, we become sons of, we are children of God. How? Je Jesus is the son of God. We are not children. How? But Jesus shares everything. This is the good news for all of us. And today he is going, actually the power to lose and bound is, actually it's the power of Jesus. But he transferred it to Peter. He transferred it to the church. The power to lose and bound. Because he will not be physically present. So he has to entrust to the apostle. Peter being the first of the apostles. And if you remember in John 20 verse 23. He also shared the power to forgive. If you forgive anyone, they are forgiven. If you don't forgive, they are not forgiven. This power he shares with the apostles. Yes, we know Jesus is the rock. Yes, but he shares his, let us say, the rockness. His shepherdness, let us say. I'm just putting some words. But this is the fact, dear friends. Jesus changed his name. And now he is telling, you are this Cephas. And on this Cephas, on this rock, I'm going to build my church. And the, and the next is that, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. First re the first reading, Isaiah, if you remember, I will give you the keys. Keys is power. If you... Key, Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth will be loose in heaven. Whatever you shut will be shut. Whatever you open will be open. In the first reading, we know that. And in fact, if you if you remember, if you remember John chapter 21, the, why did Jesus have to choose Peter to shepherd his flock? Peter, do you love me? Yes, you know I love you. Feed my lamb. Feed my sheep. Let us not. Peter, changing the name in the Bible means a mission. It's a mission. Mission to look after the sheep. Mission to be the rock. Mission to be the shepherd. Dear friends, if you remember, uh, I... Even then, uh, Paul also acknowledged uh, Peter as, the, as Cephas. He always called Cephas and other two our apostles. He always mentioned Peter as the first, first. If you remember in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 12, 1 Corinthians 9, 5, 1 Corinthians 3, 22, 1 Corinthians 15, 5, Galatians 2, 9, he always Paul mentions that Cephas and other apostles. And then Cephas, in, especially in chapter 15, he says that uh, James, John, and Cephas, send me to the Gentiles. 
because they are the pillars, he said. He is a pillar. Yes, all the apostles are pillars in uh, Ephesians also. We saw that the apostles are the pillars of the church. But as Catholics, we believe that he is the first. Peter is always the first. Our Pope is also a bishop of Rome, but he is first among equals. Peter is always first among equals. You know in, in your Bible, Peter is always first in, among equals. This is the fact. This is the truth. Whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth will be loose in heaven. I heard that some people started to <laughs> say that you are small rock and on this rock myself, I'm going to build my church. They started translating all that. But all these things is not going to work, dear friends. The, the church founded on Peter, on, on the rock, which is given by Jesus, will never, the, the power of what we call the underworld will not be able to overcome it. Rely, continue to rely on the faith of Peter and, and that is the power given to the apostles by Jesus. Never doubt the Catholic Church. Never doubt the Catholic faith. It is true. Never, never be uh, taken away by, uh, shred away by some of the, some, in fact, I had two, uh, two groups of people started writing, you, you are a small rock and on this big rock, I'm going to build my church. But read the following again, man. It says, whatever you bound on earth, he did not say, whatever I bind on earth will be bound. He said, whatever you bound on earth, the power is there. I used to say, even if it is a small paper, whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven. So this is the fact, dear friends, never, never be shaved away by some false uh, teachings, but continue to hold on the faith of the Catholic Church. And God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you.